illuminating white text appears that says, A long time ago in a galaxy far far away. Now, curvy golden yellow text stationary in the middle of the screen with stars flying by through hyperspace that reads, Theory of a Blind Man. Golden yellow text begins to crawl from the bottom of the screen upwards. Episode 2, The Live Stream Strikes Back. After the separation of content uploads and live streams, this channel is dedicated to live streaming guests, gaming, proclivities and pondering of the fate of the galaxy. Darth Whistler reigns over these channels and his message will be heard with the help of many others presenting information for all to absorb. The text continues to crawl away from view deep into the infinity of space. For those of you willing to watch and listen to live streaming and participate in the chat, the live stream strikes back at a new upload channel with prizes and galactic credits to make you rebel scum rich beyond your wildest dreams. But, Darth Whistler is not satisfied until the triad of the force has been completed and so there lays another in wait deep in space and will soon be revealed. May the dark side of the Force be with you. As the last of the text disappears, we are left with stars flying by view in hyperspace, then, fade to black. Welcome back to my channel everybody, Theory of a Blind Man. Back with another Star Wars Black Series review. This series focused specifically on reviews for Black Series Star Wars items, whether it be lightsabers, although I think I'm moving away from lightsabers from the Black Series, six inch action figures and vehicles, and other Star Wars news and memorabilia. If you have any recommendations of something you'd like to see me cover, you can leave a comment down below. So without further delay, let's get started with today's Star Wars Black Series review. Alrighty, here we go. Here is Din Djarin aka Mando from the Star Wars Disney Plus TV series The Mandalorian and here's another highly detailed figure from the Black Series and one of my favorite Mandalorians except the guy to his back left of course there, there are so many Mandalorian figures now it'll be fun collecting them all so here is Mando which comes with this little guy. Look how tiny he is. This is Grogu. His head moves. Well, his ears. I'm afraid to move it because I pulled him out of the package and one of his arms popped off. So I'm going to be as careful as possible. His arms do move. His wrists move. They pivot. His arms go up and down. But they kind of spin in place, if that makes sense. Um, but again, he's look how tiny he is. I don't even think I can put him on the ground because I don't think the camera will pick him up. But let's, let's bring this down. Maybe you can see him now. Look how tiny he is. Look how tiny he is compared to everything else. So his head pivots a little. So he moves around a little bit. Now what's really cool, I guess, is he also comes with this little box. And there's stuff inside of it. So let's go ahead and explore what's inside this box. There are three little items. And if you guys have seen the series, you'll probably know what these are. They are tiny. Really, really tiny. Now here's a cap of some sort. This might be the knob from, um, oh, come on. What's the ship's name? Mando's ship. Oh, it's missing something. This is a cup, like a teacup of some sort, I'm told. 
Maybe I know my fingers are probably kind of in the way. So there's the cup. There's one more thing in this little, this little knob. Actually, this might be the the knob from. I can't believe I can't remember the ship's name. Help me out, guys. Help me out, guys. Put it in the chat. Dinjarn's ship's name. Holy crap, where did it go? Stuck in the corner. It's like a little bead. It's so small. Here we go. There you go. I don't <laughs> I don't know if I can hold this in a position that you'll be able to see it. But it's a tall or it's a really, really small bead-like thing. I have no idea. This might be the knob, but it might not be. So but it comes in this cool little box. So there's a hole there. I think both of those go in there. Yep, that's in there. There's a small little knob thing. Let's put that in there. Doesn't really fit in that one though. I wonder why. There we go. So there's a tiny hole. And the teacup, so if you can see that. Really tiny. Okay, so let's cover that back up so I don't lose any of those small pieces. You grow goo. I'm gonna stick on this little box here. It would be really cool if it came with like a pram. That egg shaped pram. Uh, now I've got this spare. Well, it's not spare. Um, I was going through all the boxes the other day and this popped out. So I don't know if it goes to Kara's sniper rifle or Dinjarin's forked sniper rifle but let's see if there are holes to where it would go in I don't feel any right off the bat so I'll probably have to get some kind of eyeballs to look at it and see if there are any holes Wait, is that it? no I don't think that's it so there's his forked shocked fork shock <laughs> Sniper rifle. <clears throat> so, and then, oops, sorry, Grogu. Let's take him out of his little. These do not come with these stands, by the way. I ordered those separately. Actually, got a really good deal on them. So his cape, it's that plastic stuff. I'm not a fan of the plastic capes. Um, my favorite is Darth Vader's cloth cape. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work with um, the jetpack. Now he's also got a holstered blaster here, of course. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pose him with the uh, blaster, the sidearm blaster, rather than the uh, sniper rifle. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think the sniper rifle has the, the strap because in his hand because of the plastic cape so I don't think he will be able to put it over his shoulder I'll still give it a try so there's Nando and it, it feels like the rest of them high detail um, his armor now I don't know why he doesn't have the um, the visor that pulls the uh, targeting eyepiece that flips down. I could have swore he's used it, so I don't know why he doesn't have one. But we'll have to see for the next next release of the Mandalorian to see if he'll actually come with one. So articulation, like the rest of them, pretty much full articulation. The arm turns at the elbow, as well as the upper arm, and goes down, up, down, like a chicken wing. Of course, the wrist moves in kind of, yeah, it slightly pivots, not much, but I think that's just the ball joint inside the arm. <laughs> turns at the waist, 
a little bit, but he's got the strap that goes over, so it kind of refrains him from moving too much. I would really love to see a six scale ship for the Mando here, because that would be awesome. I saw a product review of um, a six scale Millennium Falcon yesterday, and that was just mind blowing how big it was. Now, apparently, you can get three quarter scale Slave One and Millennium Falcon um, in the Vintage series. And they're about $400 from Target. They're exclusive. Grogu, where did you go, Grogu? Here you are. I'm going to stick him back in Din's arms, because that's just super cute like that. Because they don't come with a pram. Ah! Grogu fell. No! Hard to tell. Okay, so his robe in the back points away from him backwards. So that's how you know. Oh, plus his arms, I guess. God, this thing is so tiny. This is crazy. Oh. Yeah, his hand fully moves, spins, it's just, it's so small. So small. Okay. Attempt to put him back in his arms. No! <laughs> I had him there before, you guys saw it, I swear. That's uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. So I'll move back a little bit so you can see him. Let's get this out of the way. Push it back so you can see him. So there you have it. From The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Din Djarin. Mando. That was today's Star Wars Black Series review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if so, please give a like, and don't forget to share, and if you'd be so kind, hit that subscribe button and tick on that notification bell so you can be alerted the next time I upload. Thank mm -hmm. you.